The United States' first private led space mission to land on the moon now has no chance of a soft landing due to fuel leakage. Meanwhile, NASA is also facing delays to its lunar mission, aiming to return astronauts to the moon this decade. Ian Jin has the details. U.S. robotics firm Astrobotic has announced that its Peregrine lunar lander has no chance of a soft landing after a serious fuel leak about seven hours after its launch. The moon mission was the first of its kind for a private U.S. company, but following its successful launch on Monday from Cape Canaveral, Florida, where the lunar lander successfully separated from the rocket, Astrobotic soon reported a propulsion system malfunction on the lander, which now has no hope left for success. Peregrine was attempting to become the first U.S. spacecraft to land on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. Meanwhile, NASA announced during a news conference on Tuesday that its Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon this decade, is facing some lengthy delays. The Artemis 3 mission to land humans on the moon for the first time since the Apollo program was previously set to complete this milestone by 2025. But it is now expected to not happen until at least September 2026. The space agency said that the primary reason for the delay includes two failed test flights in 2023. The tests in 2023 of Starship, which is the spacecraft that is expected to take astronauts from lunar orbits to the moon's south pole, both ended in explosions. Ian Jin, Arirang News.